A Monday video, what? I haven't made a Monday video in a while, but I'm starting a 30 day challenge tomorrow and I wanna invite you guys to do it with me. And if you do the challenge with me, I promise you, you will be a better photographer when we're done. Depending on what your lockdown has looked like this past month, most of us have been severely limited in where we can go, where we can actually be. Here in San Diego, our beaches, our parks, our hiking trails all got completely shut down. For me as a working photographer, all of my photo shoots until late June have all been canceled. And because of all that, very few of us have been picking up our cameras, going out, taking photos, creating images. And honestly, I miss it. So today I am introducing, issuing, declaring a challenge that you can totally be a part of if you want to. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna be doing this no matter what, no matter if anyone joins me, but I hope you guys do because I think it'll be fun. And again, I promise you'll be a better photographer on the other side of it. Before I jump into the 30 day challenge and explaining what all it entails, hit the like button on this video. It is awesome if you do and thank you. And also with, with the shirts, check out this email that I got from, from Corey from Colorado. I won't say any more than that because of privacy concerns, but he said a lot of very nice things. He says, I am a police chief in Colorado and during the pandemic, I appear regularly in the media discussing issues related to this pandemic. At the end of these discussions, I'm always asked if I have a parting comment and my response for the people is to be a good human. Corey from Colorado, ending your police chief news conferences with be a good human. Dude, thank you so much for sending that email along. That was awesome. That was super cool to see. And, and thank you for doing the work that you're doing out there while we're all trying to stay home and you're still going to work, putting yourself out there, putting yourself in harm's way. We appreciate you. Okay, into today's video and into what I'm calling the DMV One Lens Challenge. And the idea is this, when practicing anything, doesn't matter what you're practicing, hindering yourself in some way helps you be better at that thing. Giving yourself a hurdle or a challenge that's even greater than you face in the real world when you're doing that thing. In practice, make it harder than when you're doing that thing, it seems easier. For instance, baseball players. You see baseball players, they take their bat and they put a ring or a donut, it's a weighted donut, onto their bat. It makes their bat much heavier. They go out and they practice swing. They swing this thing around and they get really good at swinging it really fast. And then they take the donut off and the bat feels so light. It's so easy to swing and that's the idea. Make practice hard so that game time feels easier. And that's what we're gonna do the next 30 days with photography. And again, the hashtag DMV One Lens Challenge is this. For the next 30 days, you are going to one, get your camera in your hand every single day taking photos. You are then going to post that photo or photos in a carousel format on Instagram using that hashtag. And lastly, and the big one, you're gonna choose one focal length and you're gonna keep that same focal length for the 30 days. So if you have prime lenses, just grab one of your prime lenses, lock it onto your camera and stay with it. Don't change that lens for 30 days. If you have a zoom lens, just zoom it to a specific focal length, like 35 millimeters or 50 millimeters. Keep it there and every day shoot at that focal length for 30 days straight. And the challenge, the, the weight on your bat here is that we're in a lockdown right now. You only have one focal length to work with. How do, you, how do you come up with something new every day? How do you get creative with one lens? You can't go very many places and, and you don't wanna shoot the same thing over and over and over again. For instance, I'm locked down with Morgan, Eleanor, and our dog, Zoe. So chances are there's gonna be a bunch of photos of the three of them over this next 30 days. But how can I get creative with how I shoot them? How can I look at things differently? How can I look at something maybe that I didn't see before? Look at things that, that I haven't noticed in my house or in my daily life that make cool and interesting photos that 
that I wanna share on Instagram. And I know this sounds easy, this doesn't sound super hard to do, but I promise you this is going to be a challenge. One, just getting your camera in your hand out taking photos every single day, that's a challenge alone to do that for 30 days straight. But then you limit yourself to one focal length and and it gets hard to come up with new ideas. But I promise you that if you get your camera in your hands every single day for 30 days, you're playing with the dials, you're getting your settings all set up perfectly for each image, you are going to get better with whatever camera you have. Because that's a big part of photography is getting really comfortable with your camera, especially if you're photographing things that are happening quickly and you need to be ready to just go whoop, 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 whoop get the shot. Knowing your camera, almost like, you know a guitarist, when you watch people play guitar, they play guitar like this, and usually they're looking at you, but their fingers are playing different chords, and but they're not really looking so much. You realize that guy knows his guitar so well, can just sit there and boom, 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 not look at it, but can do it. That's what I want you to get to on your camera. Get to the point with your camera where the buttons and the layout and how the dials work and everything just feels like second nature. So you can really focus on your subject more, focus on the composition, focus on everything else and not the dial. So you're not this guy doing this and trying to do this and then trying to take a picture. I want you to just be like, like a camera ninja. That's the idea, guys. The idea is we're gonna give ourselves a challenge. We're gonna give ourselves the hurdle of one focal length. Doesn't matter what it is. You guys could have a GoPro. Use your GoPro, stay on one of the digital lenses. So stay on wide or stay on linear, whatever. You could have, you could just have your iPhone. Choose one of them. Say, I'm gonna stay on one times lens for 30 days straight and cruise around my daily life trying to get cool and interesting photos. So it doesn't matter what camera you have, what you're shooting with, grab a camera of any sort, choose a focal length, stick with it for 30 days straight and watch, watch you go from taking really basic, kind of the obvious photos in the first few days to the end of it being like, I gotta think of something new, I gotta look at things new, maybe I'm shooting from high, maybe I'm shooting straight down, maybe I'm on the ground shooting up, whatever it is, you're going to get creative so that you can come up with something new. And that's it for today. This challenge is going to be starting tomorrow. A Quick Tip Tuesday will also be tomorrow. Oh, and in the Quick Tip Tuesday, I'm going to announce who won the the PGY Tech gear that I had on Instagram. We'll announce the winners in the Quick Tip tomorrow. And tomorrow is when we start the 30 day one lens challenge. And you can start late. If you're watching this like three, four days later, just start your 30 days whenever. But I'm gonna be sharing some of your images throughout this. I'll feature them on this channel. I'll also feature them in my Instagram story. People that are posting with that hashtag, DMV one lens challenge. And the DMV is David Manning vlog, not the Department of Motor Vehicles. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow. One lens challenge starting tomorrow, which means I have to take photos today. I'm gonna go take photos, probably of Morgan and Eleanor. I'm gonna start easy. For those of you that have stuck around to the very end of this video, check, check this out. I got a new microphone. It's the, it's the Rode VideoMic NTG. It's replacing the, the VideoMic Pro that I normally use, because this one, it broke, the switches on the back broke. It's like six years old, so it makes sense that it finally broke. I have not been super nice to that microphone, but there'll be a review video on this microphone coming soon. And like the 10 of you that watched to the end will know about that review that's coming. Everyone else will be like, what? I had no idea. I appreciate you guys who watched to the end. You are the real heroes. Bye.